you cannot go to space and say like, okay, now now we try it and see if it works. You have to know before you go there that you can rely on it. And this is also, I would say, the biggest requirement to a space watch. You need to be able to rely on this system on your own. My name is Stefan Kremer. I'm working for City Space Corporation. I'm working at the headquarters in Stockholm. And uh, I'm responsible at SSC for our commercial sounding rocket activities. Myself, I'm working in the science division, uh, specifically in payloads and flight systems. And there we're developing rocket systems and the experiments for the scientists, uh, for the sounding rockets which we fly then on our own missions. I'm myself a watch enthusiast, so the, I remember the time when I was passing the windows with my father, the, the shop windows with the Fortis uh, exhibition, and I remember the, the helmet, the famous helmet uh, with the Fortis watches, and this kind of stayed in my head. And, uh, recently, when we were planning for our next mission, I was considering who could be interested in working with us and, for example, qualifying their systems for space. And then it came the idea, yeah, watches, astronaut watches, and there is only um, one proper astronaut watch, <laughs> which I think, and uh, this is uh, for example, the, the cosmonaut, and I, I had this in my mind, and I thought, like, I have to call those guys and give it a try. The work together with Fortis was really interesting because you could see that the team behind, with uh, with Marcel and with you and Andreas, uh, really showed the view on the detail. So it was very obvious that it was not just about a PR gag. It was really about qualifying the system and to really show that it will survive and that this movement is accurate. And this was also fun for me as an engineer to not just send something into space and see, yeah, okay, this is, uh, it works, it looks great, and uh, it comes back and nobody's interested. This is, uh, it was a true test and this was also um, for us in the development of the systems for Fortis, very important Nine, that this eight, has value for the actual five, technical four, development. Three, two, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have been already testing now together the watches on a stratospheric balloon with you. Where you have been testing during the last uh, flight on a rocket, which we had last year in November. So there we had the, the Strata liner on board. And now, of course, it's interesting to see uh, what has to be done before a watch goes into space. Uh, so that we have, that we're sure that the watch will survive all the uh, the whole environment in space mm -hmm. and you cannot send every watch to space i don't understand so we have to find a way how to qualify it here on ground and in your lab first it has to be a standard where we where you test to so you need to know the environment in which the watch will be later used and then you have to create a standard which is then the um the test standard and then if you have this test standard, then you develop or get the equipment which you then use to test against the standard. And in the end, you have uh, a qualified watch and each watch which you would, which would leave Fortis would be then space qualified. When we look for the requirements, so we have static accelerations, which we have during the launch of a rocket, which also the astronaut, including his watch, is experiencing. Um, we have the vibrations and also we have 
when the astronaut goes into space during the EVA, we have the absolute vacuum outside, you have the thermal environment. So these kind of tests we have to introduce into your laboratory. So which system I would pick to go into deep space is the one which has been tested to the relevant environment and which has been tested thoroughly. And uh, this is also why it's so important to have like a standard which is matching the real environment out there. And the only thing I can truly trust is what has been tested there. So when you go to space, you have to a certain extent, of course, the knowledge what will happen. And this is why we test to this knowledge. But uh, when you go to further frontiers and you go to Mars, not everything is yet clear. And for that, it's very important that we have tested to at least what we know to be ready for what we don't know. Now, after uh, the experience we had now over the last couple of years together with Fortis, I'm really looking forward uh, to take this next step and to support equipping the space laboratory together and to prepare the next watches for the big endeavors which come in future.